Good morning, folks. We've got increasing solar activity, increasing sunspot number in four articles, one on the alleged detection of a major neutrino, and three on solar storms from last year. But we'll start, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star. Had large components of filaments collapsing. There were several M-class solar flares as well, including an M9, a near X-class flare from the incoming spots on the left. Incredible that neither of the filament events released significant CMEs. CMEs did erupt off the limbs, but they are not aimed at Earth. The flaring occurred at the far left and right as both the incoming and departing spots began flaring at a higher frequency over the last day, with the largest flare event from the incoming spots. Previous sunspots are now turned over the limb, leaving a train of active regions incoming on the south. They are a bit smaller than the previous spots, but complex in some places, and there are likely even more incoming. When we zoom in on the limb, we can see there is more to see there, just about to come into view. Solar flare watch is expected to remain high as these turn in over the coming week. Minor uptick is expected at the end of the month here based on the Riger cycle. Good chance it will come from these spots. First up in the articles is this one. Without giving too many details, they say they have possibly found the most energetic neutrino ever detected. It was part of the early process of a new deep sea detector. Where it came from and what kind of major event drove the particle energy are supposedly coming in a subsequent announcement. Up next, three papers on solar storms from last year that in some way surprised the experts. Starting with the April 2023 solar storm, which we have covered before as having far too strong auroral activity, apparently it also had a vastly expansive plasma bubble dynamic process that spread to mid-latitudes. The solar storms last year were way too impactful given the moderate solar activity that drove them, by the way, for those who remember the videos we did about the record aurora last year, those records were broken before this December event, which produced extremely rare auroral sites for Japan despite the solar storm levels not being tremendously high. It's the quintessential point being made over and over here at the channel. Less and less from the sun is causing more and more unexpected reactions from the Earth. Magnetic field weakening aspect of the pole shift is leaving us more and more vulnerable. Three good examples here this morning. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.